Chapter 31 Lukman In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful Alif, Lam, Mim These are verses of the wise book, the Quran, a guide and a mercy for the good-doers, those who perform prayer and give charity, and that have faith in the hereafter with certainty. Such are on guidance from their Lord, and such are the successful. And of mankind is he who talks idly to mislead men from the path of Allah without knowledge, and takes the path of Allah as a mockery. For such there will be a humiliating torment in the hellfire. And when our verses of the Quran are recited to such a one, he turns away in pride, as if he did not hear them, as if there were deafness in his ears. So announce to him a painful torment. Indeed, those who believe in the oneness of Allah, and do righteous good deeds, for them are gardens of delight in paradise to abide in. It is a promise of Allah in truth, and He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. He has created the heavens without any pillars that you can see, and has set on the earth firm mountains, lest it should shake with you. And He has scattered in the earth living creatures of all kinds. And we send down rain from the sky, and we cause plants of every goodly kind to grow there. This is the creation of Allah. So show me that which those whom you worship besides him have created. No, the polytheists, wrongdoers, and those who do not believe in the oneness of Allah are in plain error. And indeed, we bestowed upon Lukman wisdom, saying, Give thanks to Allah. And whoever gives thanks, he gives thanks for the good of himself. And whoever is unthankful, then indeed Allah is rich, free of all wants, worthy of all praise. And remember when Lukman said to his son, advising him, O oh my son, do not join in worship others with Allah. Indeed, joining others in worship with Allah is a great wrong. And we have enjoyed on man to be dutiful and good to his parents. His mother bore him in weakness and hardship, and his weaning was for two years. Give thanks to me and to your parents. To me is the final destination. But if they both strive to make you join others in worship with me, of which you have no knowledge, then do not obey them. But behave with them in the world in a kindly way, and follow the path of him who turns to me in repentance and in obedience. Then to me will be your return, and I shall tell you what you used to do. O oh, my son, even if anything be equal to the weight of a grain of mustard seed, and though it be in a rock, anywhere in the heavens or in the earth, Allah can bring it forth. Indeed, Allah is subtle in bringing out that grain, well aware of its place. O oh, my son, perform prayer. Enjoin on people belief in the oneness of Allah and all that is good, and forbid people from disbelief in the oneness of Allah, polytheism of all kinds, and all that is evil and bad, and bear with patience whatever may befall you. Indeed, these are some of the important commandments ordered by Allah, with no exception. And do not turn your face away from men with pride, nor walk in insolence through the earth. Indeed, Allah does not like the arrogant boaster. And be moderate, and show no insolence in your walking, and lower your voice. Indeed, the harshest of all voices is the braying of the donkey. Do you not see that Allah has subjected for you whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth? and has completed and perfected his graces upon you, both apparent and hidden? Yet among mankind is he who disputes about Allah, without knowledge or guidance, or without a book giving light. And when it is said to them, Follow that which Allah has sent down, they say, No, we shall follow that which we found our fathers following. Would they do so even if Satan invites them to the torment of the fire? And whoever submits his face to Allah, while he is a good-doer and performs good deeds only for Allah's sake, then he has grasped the most trustworthy handhold, and to Allah return all matters for decision. And whoever disbelieves, do not let their disbelief grieve you, O Muhammad, for to us is their return, and we shall inform them of what they have done. Indeed, Allah is the all-knower of what is in the hearts of men. We let them enjoy for a little while, then in the end we shall oblige them to enter a great torment. And if you, O Muhammad, ask them, Who has created the heavens and the earth? They will certainly say, Allah. Say, All praises and thanks be to Allah. 
but most of them know not. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. Indeed, Allah, He is rich, free of all wants, worthy of all praise. And if all the trees on the earth were pans, and the sea were ink with which to write, with seven seas behind it to add to its supply, the words of Allah would not be exhausted. Indeed, Allah is almighty, all-wise. The creation of you all and the resurrection of you all are as simple as the creation and resurrection of a single person. Indeed, Allah is all-hearer, all-seer. Do you not see, O Muhammad, that Allah merges the night into the day, and merges the day into the night, and has subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a term appointed, and that Allah is all aware of what you do? That is because Allah is the truth, and that which they invoke besides Him is falsehood, and Allah is the Most High, the Most Great. Do you not see that the ships sail through the sea by Allah's grace, that He may show you of His signs? Indeed, in these are signs for every patient, grateful person. And when violent waves surround them, they invoke Allah, making their invocations for Him only. But when He brings them safely to land, there are among them those that stop in the middle, between belief and disbelief. But none denies our signs except every disloyal and ungrateful wretch. O mankind, be afraid of your Lord by keeping your duty to Him and avoiding all evil. And fear a day when no father can do anything for his son, nor a son avail his father. Indeed, the promise of Allah is true. So do not let this worldly life deceive you, nor let the chief deceiver, Satan, deceive you about Allah. Indeed, Allah, with him alone, is the knowledge of the hour. He sends down the rain, and knows that which is in the wombs. No person knows what he will earn tomorrow, and no person knows in what land he will die. Indeed, Allah is all-knower, aware of all things. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share, and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al-Jariyah in Islam. Sadaq Artul Jariah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds, and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter, according to the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.